In the annals of history, few names sparkle with the luster and intrigue of Cleopatra VII, the last pharaoh of Egypt. Her story is a tapestry woven with threads of ambition, intellect, romance, and tragedy, set against the backdrop of a changing world where the mighty powers of Rome and Egypt converged. This narrative delves into the life of a woman who defied the conventions of her time, a queen who wielded her intelligence and charm as adeptly as any sovereign wielded a scepter. Join me as we unravel the story of Cleopatra, a figure who has captivated scholars, artists, and dreamers for centuries, and whose legacy endures as a beacon of resilience and enigma in the vast expanse of history. Once upon a time, over 2,000 years ago, in the ancient land of Egypt, a woman of remarkable intelligence and captivating beauty ascended to the throne. Her name was Cleopatra VII Thea Philippator, which means, Cleopatra the father-loving goddess. This is her story, woven from the threads of history and adorned with the embellishments of time. Cleopatra was born in 69 BCE into the Ptolemaic dynasty, a family of Greek origin that ruled Egypt after Alexander the Great's general, Ptolemy I Soter, declared himself king. The Ptolemies adopted Egyptian customs and deities, but they remained distinctly Hellenistic, merging Greek and Egyptian cultures. From a young age, Cleopatra showed an exceptional intellect, mastering several languages and studying a wide array of subjects, from mathematics to astronomy. Unlike her forebears, she spoke Egyptian, which endeared her to the people and allowed her to act as the living embodiment of the goddess Isis. Her path to power was fraught with intrigue and familial betrayal. In a family tradition that was as political as it was peculiar, Cleopatra was married to her younger brother, Ptolemy XIII, when she ascended to the throne at the age of 18. However, their co-rule was short-lived. Cleopatra's ambitious nature and Ptolemy's advisor's machinations led to her expulsion from Alexandria, the capital. But Cleopatra was not one to be easily defeated. She raised an army and was determined to reclaim her throne. Fate intervened when Julius Caesar, the great Roman general, arrived in Egypt in pursuit of his rival, Pompey. Cleopatra, seizing the opportunity, had herself smuggled into Caesar's palace wrapped in a rug. This dramatic entrance marked the beginning of a partnership and romance that would alter the course of history. With Caesar's support, Cleopatra regained her throne and eliminated her brother. She bore Caesar a son, Caesar Ion, though their relationship was as much a political alliance as it was a romantic entanglement. Caesar's assassination in 44 BCE left Cleopatra in a precarious position, but she was quick to align herself with another powerful Roman, Mark Antony. Cleopatra and Antony's relationship was legendary, marked by lavish displays of wealth and public declarations of love. They had three children together, and for a time, it seemed they might create an empire that would rival Rome. However, their dream crumbled when Octavian, the future Emperor Augustus, declared war on them. The final act of Cleopatra's life was as dramatic as her entry into Caesar's palace. Following a defeat at the Battle of Actium, Antony and Cleopatra returned to Egypt. Misinformation led Antony to believe Cleopatra was dead, prompting him to take his own life. Upon discovering the truth, a heartbroken Cleopatra also chose death, reportedly by the bite of an ASP, though the true method remains a subject of debate. Cleopatra's death marked the end of the Ptolemaic Kingdom and the beginning of Roman Egypt. But her legacy endured, immortalized by her intelligence, political acumen, and the dramatic story of her life and reign. In the tapestry of history, Cleopatra remains a vibrant thread, her story a blend of fact and legend, forever captivating the imagination of the world.
Cleopatra's entrance to meet Caesar, the famed episode where Cleopatra was allegedly rolled up in a carpet or rug to be smuggled into Julius Caesar's presence is not only bold but also showcases her flair for dramatic and unconventional tactics to ensure her political survival and influence. Polyglot Abilities Cleopatra's mastery of multiple languages, including Egyptian, which was uncommon among the Greek-speaking Ptolemaic rulers, is a testament to her intelligence and strategic acumen, allowing her to communicate directly with her subjects and foreign dignitaries. Romantic Alliances with Roman Leaders Her romantic and political alliances with two of the most powerful Roman figures of the time, Julius Caesar and Mark Antony, highlight a complex interplay of personal relationships and political strategy that is fascinating in its execution and consequences. Her chosen demise, the method of her death, choosing to end her life with the bite of an ASP, or another form of suicide, as some historians suggest, adds a layer of mystique and drama to her legend, reflecting her determination to control her fate even in death.